Hi gents, um, I was asked to do a quick review of my current lineup of brushes. So what I've done is I've taken out all my silver tip brushes that I have at the moment and um, just do a quick review of them for you. I am due another three brushes from our current Shave Matte Group buy on Against the Grain. Um, and as soon as they come in I'm sure I'll be doing some videos with those. So without further ado, um, most people know me as the guy who runs the group mat, group buys for the shade matte brushes, but I do own other makes as well. Um, one of which being my Epsilon. Uh, again, this is a two band silver tip. The density I would consider between medium and high. It has absolutely no scratch or scratch. Um, it's 27 millimeters by, I think it's 55 loft and quite a small handle. A lovely shape but a, a rather small handle in butterscotch and backbone wise to be honest with you it's, it's got quite a bit of backbone it's, it's a lovely knot to actually use but it's just a handle which is a bit of a letdown for me I've had no shedding loss or anything from my Epsilon a uh, very good brush out of 10 I'd probably put the Epsilon at a 7 7.5 and um, the next one is actually um, a group buy from the shaving the shave nook TSN and this is a Simpson again two band Manchurian badger so Manchurian hair um, a lot of issues uh, regarding the glue bump with this knot um, some say that it adds too much backbone um, as a result of the heightened glue knot um, I actually find this one to be okay it is stiffer being a Manchurian badger as you can see the bottom band actually is slightly thicker and darker than most two band hairs because of again it being Manchurian badger hair but other than that a lovely M6 handle uh, from Simpsons and rather a quite enjoyable brush to use very good on very hard soaps not that any other brushes aren't but being slightly stiffer in nature um, it leads itself to that I'll probably say I, I don't like this as much as the Epsilon but it's not far below so again 7 out of 10 for me again like I said this is all in my opinion and my experience using it um, next one is my Paladin I bought this off a good friend um, over on the shaving room and who's now moderator off against the grain so thank you Dipesh for firstly selling me this brush um, this is an original Paladin so as you can see the writing itself isn't engraved it's actually just printed on and it's labeled oops sorry pardon me it's labeled as a super badger chief handle style um, this this knot is excellent it, it really is um, it's hard to tell from this view but it's got lots of hooked tips uh, it's super soft is this this is a gel tip brush um, again a two band superb backbone excellent balance lovely lovely handle and um, this is easily a 9 9.5 out of 10 for me in terms of the brush itself um, again it picks up a lot of soap uh, with very very little time and yeah creates an excellent lather so those are my three non shave mat brushes now moving on to shave mat brushes uh, what we'll do is we'll start with standard two band silver tip brushes so first of which is one of my favorites this is an anchor handle um, material is obviously jade and yeah this this is this is one of my favorite brushes like I say it's a fan shaped knot and I, th I believe this to be 26 millimeter in width again it's from the group buys that we did over on the shaving room um 2015 as you can see um yeah super brush really soft lots of hooked gel tips as you can see from the density it's fairly densely packed there and um, there's no issues with regards to density i do have more dense brushes but this could then can lead to the extraction of gel tips or add or the addition of a little bit more scrub and scritch um super brush one that i would never ever sell I, I rate this again similar to my paladin 99.5 9 out of 10 <clears throat> another standard two band silver tip brush from shave mac this is in their brown uh sorry black and black and brown i believe it is um handle material theta star 173 handle bulb shaped knot 
this is a this is the baby of the group. This is a 23 millimeter, and it has excellent backbone, as you would expect from a bulb. Um, tips, yeah, brilliant white tips, absolutely gorgeous. This isn't from a group buy. This was a private sale that I did through Burned and the Shea Max site. Um, absolutely fabulous brush. In a similar fashion, we have the blue marble or the blue denim. I believe it's marble on the Shave Max site. Again, bulb shape. This is a 24 millimeter, um, slightly different to the 23, and you can see the slightly wider margin off the knot. Um, yep, yeah, again, super gel tips. Some people are saying they wish the height was a bit bigger or the loft was a bit bigger on this brush so that it would hold more leather enough for three passes. I personally haven't found an issue but I do see a point in that after the second pass, the third pass with regards to the amount of leather stored in this brush isn't a huge isn't a huge amount so I would probably suggest if you're going for a 24 millimeter brush in a bulb shape probably to go for a 52 or a 54 millimeter loft. Um, and last but not least is a brush again gifted to me um, by my friends over on the shaving room and this is again a Shave Mac 2 band bulb knot. Uh, so all of these like I say are the silver tip knots and this is a gorgeous brush it really is this is a 2648 and it's in the G7 Jeff Anderson style handle so you've got the jade at the top and the coca bolo wood at the bottom and my little nickname on the back and yeah absolutely gorgeous number one of one uh, just to prove that this is part of a group buy as well this was our first ever group buy number one of 30 and you've seen the other one being the Christmas edition uh, group buy that so yeah this is a gorgeous brush um, if I compare the two you can see the the one to the left is slightly taller as is the 23 millimeter but because of the 26 millimeter width on this knot it holds a lot 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 more leather i would say the backbone being being off a short loft is decent it's quite springy there's lots of gel tip hook field whatever you want to call it type badger hair on here absolutely gorgeous brush um so these would be my four shave mac brushes that are standard two band silver tip so moving on what do you do when you get bored of two band silver tip well you generally then with shave mac go on to their do1 knots so this is a lotus style handle in snake wood and this is again a shave mac brush uh, this is actually a do1 two band silver tip so as you can see if i show you the actual knot head on this is a standard two band compare that to the do1 two band on the right you can see it's a lot dense more densely packed than the one on the left with regards to its feel on the face i have been testing a lot of do1 knots um, as you can see as i push down on this there's very little give compare that once again to a standard two band and there's a fair amount of give. I know that's a very rough test, but you can trust me on that one. Um, this is a stiffer knot, but with the loft set as it is, uh, it, there's no scritch. Um, there's very, very little scratch to the knot, uh, if any, to be honest with you. And it's a beautiful designed handle. Um, I do like smaller knots in certain circumstances. So you may see a couple of small and a couple of bigger ones, but yeah, they, they all feel beautiful on the face. I really love the wood on this handle. It's, it's exquisite. And yeah, a lovely cut shape bulb knot there. Um, again, sticking with my DO1 two bands. In brown beige, standard Theta Star 173 handle. Again, a DO1 two band knot, uh, silver tip as always. And yeah, again, absolutely beautiful. Again, you can see that the amount of give is little. This is a fan shape as opposed to the bulb. So you get a little bit more with the bulb, very, very slight. Um, sorry, you get a little bit more with the fan, I should say, very, very slight, but it is, it is apparent. And you can see how white the tips are. So whenever I order a brush from Burn, I have a uh, specific requirement with the type of badger hair that I'm after. Um, this this type of density reminds me 
very much of the Manchurian here that you get with the Simpsons nuts. So you can see if I put that just between the two, they look fairly similar. Um, the difference being that the Simpsons knot is more untidy than that of the Shave Mac. I prefer the cut that Burned actually offers with his knots. Um, when you're looking at a fan knot, you just want the edges just slightly to be peeling away from the main knot, which this demonstrates absolutely perfectly. Uh, absolutely gorgeous knots to use once you've either worn them in if you get the loft too short or you know, if you prefer a scrubby brush, then yeah, the DO1s are the ones to go for. Third DO1, this is in a Royal Harvest handle, and again, a two band. This is a fan shape as well. Uh, again, this is part of our Ellie group buy. So, uh, this one was, I think, one of the last ones that we did on the shaving room. We, like I say, now moved over to Against the Grain. Um, number one, and yeah. This brush, um, mixed mixed opinions. Absolutely love the handle and the different colours that you should just rotate through. Um, this is actually the blanks called Royal Harvest, and we got this from a separate supplier of blanks. Um, they were then shipped to Burned over in Germany, and he then constructed, turned the handle, and made the knot and added the knot himself. So. Lots and lots and lots of hook tips on this one, and it's, and it's really, really dense. It's super dense, but it has taken at least, I would say, 35 to 40 uses to actually get this knot to be soft on the face. Initially, um, I used this, and I like to swirl the brush on my face as I build the leather. Um, it felt a bit scratchy, and as soon as I felt that, I thought, oh, no, this isn't one for me, so... I put it to one side, but through many, many months of perseverance, I used the brush again and again and again, and now there is there is no scritch, there's no scratch when I'm swirling. Um, it feels awesome on the face. It, it almost feels bore-esque, but with the softness of silver tip. So it, it's well worth maintaining, sticking with your equipment until you get it right for your preference. Um, final DO1 is my um, classic Shave Mac Design uh, three band DO1. This was a thank you brush that I received from Burned after again completing several group buys. I don't know if you can actually make out the message on the bottom. Um, it's quite difficult to see, but it just says thank you from Burned. Um, again, a lovely brush. I'm, I'm more fond of the two bands, but when it comes to DO1s, if you want a brush straight from the off, that's not going to be too scritchy and scratchy, or you want, uh, uh, you definitely want a DO1 knot, um, the three band's a good option to go for. Again, uh, I use all my DO1s mainly when I'm making use of a hard puck of soap. Um, if it's a crope, I tend to stick with my two band silver tips, but yeah, beautiful brushes to use. Uh, if I'm to rate them again, as I did earlier, I would probably say I'd put my brown beige 173 at 24 millimeters, round about an eight out of 10. The three band is, it's a nice brush, but again, it's slightly more untidy than the two band. There isn't that visual stark difference between light and dark. So this would have to be probably a 6.57 bit of a harsh rating, it's a still a great brush. Um, Royal Harvest, because of the time it took me to break in, but, but the feel now is is immense, I'd definitely put this at, at least 7.5 if not 8. And my Lotus 2 band, smaller knot, uh, again no scritch, no scratch with this D01, so uh, absolutely gorgeous handle as well, I actually love the handle on this one, so that's an 8 out of 10 for me high ratings with my DO1s. So it got to the stage where having tried many silver tips, two band, uh, two band silver tips, having tried many two band DO1s, I wanted something in between. That would have been best for me. So I would get the backbone, um, almost the fullness of feel on the face from a from a dense knot, but I wouldn't want it overly stiff so that I lose a gel tip feel or if it's too stiff, again, it's it's uncomfortable to swirl on the face. So um, I spoke with Burned and the inspiration was to create a knot of similar density to the Epsilon. So I found the, I found the um, standard two band, 
the density to be quite low. Um, that's compared to obviously a DO1 and the next knot I'm about to show you. The Epsilon had slightly more dense um, knot, but without the scritch and or any, any uncomfortable feeling on the face. So I wanted something in between. Um, again, this was replicated upon through my Paladin brush because I feel that this is between the two. Um, probably more so towards the Epsilon, but it's got a lot of density with regards to its knot, without any scritch, without any scratch, without any prickliness, um, absolutely spot on with the Paladin. So that being an original Lee Sabini knot, I did try and contact Lee to try and find out the you know density and whatnot, but without any avail. So I spoke to Bern and we came up with the unique knots. So. Absolutely massive brush there. We'll start with this one. Um, this again was part of our uh, group buys in 2016. This is a unique knot, so it has more density than the two band silver tip, standard silver tip. It has less than the DO1 two band silver tip, so somewhere in the middle if you like. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, gel tips, kind of, not, not entirely gel tips, simply because I think that you, you do feel the individual hairs on the face, but you, again, they're very, very, very soft. Without having too much hair, you get more of a water flow through feel, if that makes sense on the face. Um, it's similar to say, aquaplaning a car tire, but that this doesn't necessarily have an uncomfortable feel. In fact, it's very much the opposite. It's a gorgeous feel, it's just not gel tip to my mind. Um, this is in a full rubber set 400 style handle. The new ones are slightly more concave on the bottom, so to improve stability, but it still stands. You just have to make sure it's not wobbling too much. Um, this is a 26 millimeter and in a jungle moss coloration with regards to the blank. I love this brush with, with soaps, hard parks, soft parks, you name it. This will collect lots and lots of lather. You can see just how much it's splayed already and that's after about 25 uses. So it's, it's an absolutely gorgeous addition to my den and um, as a result of having the fan in um, Unique, I also decided to go for the bulb at the same time just to see the difference, so this is an M7 style knot, uh, handle sorry, with the unique style knot and in a bulb shape like it described earlier, uh, part of the group buy again. Some of these aren't numbered because we switched from limited edition group buys to now group buys. We will go back to the LEs at some point, but it's nice to see how people's choices uh, you can pick your own coloured handle and whatnot and you know have it custom made to your spec. Uh, this is my favourite knot alongside this Shave Mac and my Paladin. Between these three I am quite stuck on which one I prefer the most. It, they, they are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, you could probably throw a couple more in there um, with regards to favourite brushes. You could probably say the Epsilon, 